Hey guys, it's Andrew Gallegos here with New American Funding. I am a loan officer making a video today to help you understand how to print a transaction history printout to a PDF document with the URL at the bottom of the page. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go on your online banking website. And I've got this one pulled up. It's a credit union. This isn't an active account. If it was, you'd have a current balance, you'd have an available balance, and you'd have transactions on this bank account listed in a little transaction section. So you want to go to the transaction section, of course, so that you can see the transactions you're looking to print out. Your loan officer should give you a specified time period, and you should be able to filter that out on your banking website. So you can customize the date. You can do you know, the most recent month. Uh, should give you some options there. So I've just got one month built in there. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to print this to a PDF. You can do this in a few different ways. Usually the banking website will have a print option. This one does. You just click the options buttons and then you can click print that way. You can click these three buttons up the top of the page if you're working in Chrome and you can click print that way. You can right click on the screen, print it that way. Or you can do what I do and just push control P on your keyboard and you're going to have uh, the document come up that you're looking to print. Again, if there were actual transactions here, they would be showing up in this uh, little section right here. Now, this is great because I've got the destination in the right spot. I'm sending it to a PDF. The problem is, is that I don't see a URL on this page. So what do I do? Well, I have to go to this more settings tab. And for me, for some reason, when I, um, my margins are set up as none, I guess, when I go to print. So what I do is I go to my margins drop down and I click default. And then you're going to notice this headers and footers box pop up, right? And you can see that when I check that box, my URL now pops up. So I'm good. So that's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to go into that more settings tab. Uh, make sure your margins are at default and then click header and footer. And then now you're going to see your URL. You can go ahead and print it to a PDF and uh, it will look something like this where you're going to actually see that URL at the bottom of the page. So um, hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, just to give some background too, by the way, on like why this URL is important. Um, basically URL, it stands for uniform resource location, and it identifies the legitimacy of the banking website that you're printing from. Underwriters want to see that URL to make sure that the document is valid. Typically you need this when, um, the most recent bank statement that you sent to your lender doesn't have up to date information. A good example is, you know, you've added funds to your account and you want to show the lender that you have those funds added to your account. So that's when you need this transaction history printout. And uh, yeah, it's a common condition in mortgage underwriting. And I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please like my video and subscribe. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks.